Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fire Emblem uh, Revelation. Yeah, that's that we're playing tag team run with Zedidic and Fuzzwuzz. Link to their episodes in the description. Although you probably know the drill by now for that. Welcome. And it looks like somebody made a lottery shot. So that's why I instinctively went here. Got to get my luck on, you know. And I got a single ruby. Goddamn. Come again. Now, as for classes. Uh, Elise is a dark flyer now, so that's cool, and it looks like that dude finally got promoted so he can use staves now. Manfred <laughs> looks like his stolen parries shit. He's got a high defense stat, though. Tankier than Camilla, to be sure. Actually, he doesn't have hold fighter, so bad unit. I mean, wary fighter. And, yeah, seems like... Oh, you're promoted, that's cool. It looks like they finally benched Teato. Damn. But actually, this episode, instead of playing the next chapter, I'm gonna... Who are you? I'll do my... Oh, I forgot you were in this game. I'm gonna go do some support grinding. Because... I wanna get their kid. Because I feel like we should have at least one kid. But I'm also gonna do this. Oh, goodbye. Let's see. Uh, Charlotte, get a hand axe, would you? We have like four of these damn things, so why not Hello, forge up? Can I help you? Hello? Hand axe plus one. Uh, more might. And I'll call it the. Eh. Nicole. It's been a while since I've made a forge. And let's see. Hashtag, 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 hashtag. Delete. And then a copyright. Oh. Okay, delete another one. The epico copyright. Alright. And now I think I need to forge another hand axe. Goodbye. Uh, to match the epico's power. So let's see. Let's. Give you a hand axe. I don't know how we got four of them, but... Alright, Orochi. Well, you have magic, Camilla. You don't need that. Hello, Smithy Forge. You? Camilla's magic, so who needs that? Orochi, baby. Uh, you don't need a name. And now let's go back up to Charlotte. The Epico plus two, more hit and more might. I think I'll keep the name. And now we have a good hand axe. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these two pitched. Now, I'm going to do these challenges. They don't count as like chapters or anything, and I'm just going to use them to grind support points, so... Yeah. Before I cut away to when I'm actually doing the prologue, I mean the paralogue, because for whatever reason... I think I'll just show you a bit what I'm doing and why I forged that hand axe. Where is Sizo? Because the next one has higher level enemies and uh, gives me more accuracy and shit. Yeah. Let's see, inventory items, Epico, equip. The Epico plus two. Copyrighted, you can't use it or I'll kill you. Yep. In this music, I was doing a practice of this just to see if this was a viable method or if Charlotte was too frail. And I just gotta say, this music takes me back. I don't know what it is about this track. But, you know, this track just really takes me back to high school when this game first came out because when I first got into Fire Emblem, I w it was either in middle or high school with Awakening, but it was high school and like, it was actually my first year of high school when this game came out. Yeah, so I must have played Awakening in middle school because I was in my business class. Um, so it must have been my first year of high school, and this was the first Fire Emblem game that I really played that was new, and I liked it a lot at the time. Over the past couple of years, uh, on the internet, I've been salty about it for, like, some reason, because, like, it's, on the internet, everyone says, oh, fate sucks, oh, fate sucks, after a while, you just kind of start to, like, listen to that, so after not playing it since, like, high school, because I didn't play it at all in, like, my first two years of college. Uh, until I did the PMU again on this channel, I was just like, oh, I guess I must have misremembered. Fates actually sucks. Uh, but then I played it again in the PMU, and then I played it again, and it's like, I hear this music again. 
It's, you know, do, 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 and it's like, huh. You know, and then I had really a, a lot of fun in my own lunatic running. Yeah, the story doesn't hold up, but you know, I like these characters. I like them a lot. I like their designs. I like the way, I like the way this game is. Just hearing this music brings me back. I don't know, high school wasn't a particularly even pleasant time for me, but just hearing this music really... I don't know, makes me feel emotions. And yeah, so anyway, that's it. I don't know why I felt the need to talk about me playing Fire Emblem Fates in high school. Uh, so whatever, I'm just gonna <laughs> cut to when uh, these two are hitched. See you then. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. This grinding is pretty much about to be done, which means Charlotte will surely get hitched with this fine gentleman. Uh, yeah, go to hell, buddy. This fine gentleman who tried to kamikaze himself in the cutscene, I think, and I was reflecting more on why this music made me happy and made me remember certain good emotions, even though high school isn't uh, what I'd particularly call pleasant for me, and I think it's because this game actually made me happy during high school, because it came out and it was really good, and I had fun playing it for a really long time, played all the routes, even though... Uh, even back then I thought Revelations was subpar, so I really had a lot of fun with it. So I appreciate this game a lot. Even though I know it's not, like, objectively the best Fire Emblem, it's still very near and dear to my heart. Anyway, let's get to four. Yeah, baby. Charlotte. God, you again? What do you want now? A child. Alright. That's our first baby. Alright. And now what I want to do... Is make Charlotte a mechanist so I can get her replicate. And Sizo has actually got leveled up a lot from guard getting Charlotte right there. So I might. Let's see, heart seal, partner seal, sure. And then we change her back into a berserker at a later date. Trade, voluntary, yep. Alright, and then use into a mechanist. I did this in my Conquest Lunatic run, and it was quite fun, so I am simply blessing my partners. Well, I did it with Saizo, but, uh, actually, no, that dude's name is Kaze. Kaze! Kaze. It was quite a large amount of fun, so I am simply blessing my teammates with the same opportunity of having two Charlottes for the price of one. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, get real. You don't need that. And, I guess... You don't need that. Alright. And Dua has enough shit. Alright. Cool, let's get rockin' with that. Uh, prologue. Paralogue. Prologue, paralogue, blah 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 blah. Alright. Paralogue 9. Sizo versus Sizo. Yo, there's two of them now? That's cray cray. That's cray cray. Alright. From the deep realm. Subaki, very bold of the game to assume Subaki would be alive at this point in time. I, I don't really care about this. Uh, <laughs> if I remember correctly, this child is Gaius from Fire Emblem Awakening. And that was actually my first Fire Emblem as I brought up previously. And I'm gonna be honest today, these days I am not that impressed by it. Funky? Funky? <laughs> okay. Door key. All right, where's the bastard child? All right. Uh, Ryoma, Xander, who the fuck are you? Manfred, I'll keep Manfred. Ayato, oh. And you. Uh, let's see. You know, uh, Manfred, you don't really need all those weapons, do you? I respect the general hustle, but you don't really need all those weapons since I'm not deploying you, do you? Come on, don't be silly. Don't be a silly billy. Don't be a silly billy. Alright, I'm just gonna catch my preps are done. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so let's just get down to it. The, your mission will fail if Asugi escapes. Defeat Funky before then. Okay. Okay, so this is this guy. Okay. Uh, is really strength actually what I want on him? Let's see, do you have anything better? Pretty much, only the other thing is HP plus 5. Yeah, alright, so whatever. Rally strength is fine. Asugi, huh? You did not inherit a lot of your mumsy's strength. It's only 17, 23 speed. With the, off with the offspring seal, he will probably be better though. Yeah, there's a dragon vein here. So we have to go defeat a guy, huh? 
We have to go to we have to go defeat Funky Kong. Getting Plink Galleon, everybody. Alright, this might actually be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's just get this ninja. Fuck this ninja. Alright. I mean, Corn, you probably double that guy, right? Nope. Surprisingly not. What about you, my good sir? Alright. Take. Kick some at fucking ass. Oh, uh, whatever your name is, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's probably some convoluted fucking strat I can do with rescue on turn one. To, actually, not with all the walls in the way. There's no way I could possibly defeat Funky Kong on turn one. There's actually no way. This Dragon Vein is placed in a very inconvenient location, I must say. Oh god. Alright, put you on this tile here. Um, this is a tricky one. Alright, Mr. Hero, you don't need all those stats. Yeah, see, those stats were unnecessary. That guy got a crit, wow. Alright, do, uh, you shall share, you shall ferry Charlotte over to the Great Beyond. Okay, and she shall use the Raider Knife, and it looks like this will work out lickety well. I was gonna say lickety split, but then I realized it would not make sense in this context, so I said lickety well. So that's a new phrase for all you phrase fans out there who like saying phrases. Phrase fan. Copywriting that. Again, copywriting. Everything I say in this episode, I will kill you if you ever repeat it outside of this. It's all me. It's all copyrighted by me. Me. <laughs> Alright, magic speed, defense res. Cool. De wait, defense on Elise, huh? Quite a level up. Alright, let's. Why don't we pair up our funny little man? Our funny little man creature here with Camilla, so he can't get dual striked. And then everyone else just slowly walk up. Well, not slowly. We can't move out at a leisurely pace because we have to kill Funky Kong uh, before that happens. Alright. You stupid idiot. You dummy, 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 dummy idiot. Stupid McStupid head. Yeah, get the fuck, get the fuck out of here. Buffoonery, I say. Buffoonery. Nice miss, stupid. Man, unironically thought he could kill Shura. Oh my god. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Oni Savage. Oh, oh, <laughs> Ting, ting, shming a ring, bing, bing. I like money, Kadi Kadu. Uh huh. Alright. And there's another room I can Buster Wolf into. So, yeah, the route to Funky doesn't seem too overly convoluted. Funky Kong. Um, let's see if we can revive Operation Get Parry EXP. Uh, yeah, okay, well, this is actually 100% with Sure, You can't. Good news, Perry, you can't screw it up anymore. Wow. You crit the guy that was literally gonna die no matter what. Good job. Oh, she's still wearing the tank mask. Alright, two more levels until I'll promote her. She pets her horse, that's nice of her at least. Alright. Hey, Otto. Hey, Otto, your effective range is very depressing. I must say. Um, let's see. Thunder, okay, so Elise is just really good at taking people out now, Jesus. Making her a Dark Falcon is definitely a move I'm on board with. And then... May as well have this dude do some debuffing since he's not good for anything else this chapter. Some poison striking, even. Alright. Then you can.
can have a nice life. Bye bye. She has so much strength that she even kills people with daggers. And then sure, I can move onward and upward in life. Separate from Camilla here. And then... Alright. Parister. Parry the parry person. Parry the threat of us. An old fashioned dual strike with Hayato. And a man. Alright. And that ought to do it, I'd say. There are, there seem to be optional enemies, but I don't really see the point of messing around with that. But I guess I'll have Sakura. Do the dragon right this time for optimal room clearing. Alright. Manfred, get your bass. Get your bass over here. I wanna see how big the fish is, the fish that you caught. Alright. And now let's see a berserker and then Manfred or something can just do that. I wonder what the turn count for this is, even. How many turns do you theoretically have? Because if it's not a lot, I don't really see the purpose of going through here. Like, these dudes don't even have treasure. Like, that guy's a door key, but who gives a shit? about fucking door keys? I can just go buy a million of those right now. Actually, I can't. We only have a thousand gold. Ignore what I just said. And now, let's see what we got cooking in the rocks kitchen. Uh, you know what we got cooking in the rocks kitchen, everyone? A dead motherfucker. I love that Big Bill's Hell commercial. Alright. We have a good crit chance with the Raider's Knife, so I think I'll go with that. And then if not, Camilla can just finish off. And these guys cannot attack through the wall, which is pretty cool, I think. And then we're just a stone tosses away from Funky Kong. Stone toss, now that reminds me of that Nazi comic artist. Pretty sad that he took a, such a child-friendly phrase, like a stone toss away and turned it into Nazism. I hate it when people do that. If you're gonna do something evil, at least come up with an original name, like uh, Evil Emperor Zerg from Buzz Lightyear. He's pretty evil, but you don't know anyone else called Zerg. It's because he's original. Don't know why Emperor Zerg from Buzz Lightyear was the first example of evil that came up in my mind, but maybe that just goes to show how nasty of an individual he is. Alright. That's not good. Alright, and then let's see, attack. Thunder! Thunder! Probably could have done this without sure attacking, to be honest. No, I think Dark Flyers get rally movement in this, which is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool cat ability to have. Alright, snipers. Can you stop being alive, Mr. Snipier? Uh, let's see, Master Ninja, not a fan of that. Speed 27, speed 21. I did not plan this out properly. Alright, let's try to go for this mage here. So this mage goes down easy. It's good. Then there's the sniper. I could go for a killer bow. Actually, hold on. Hey, Otto, can you reach that guy? Cannon. Okay, good. I'd, I'd have to hit Elise, but she'll be fine anyway, I think. Alright, cool. And now I'll have Camilla go for this guy. Alright, yeah, this should be fine unless he gets a 3% crit, which would be unfortunate. But hey, it's fire level, so anything unfortunate could happen. Well, I hit you with an axe and made you naked, so actually, I'd be completely understandable if you wanted to kill me. <laughs> Alright, now there's this schmuck. There's Joe. Alright, and now... Not like that 10% crit. Let's see what we can get going here with parry. Not enough, but it would be enough to where corn could then kill. But 
So now I would still need to plug the hole with this guy. Maybe I could dance for Sakura, because let's see, how much move does Sakura have? Six. So like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. That's easy. Alright. Ruffian. Ruffian Schmuffian. Get the parry into the stick. Trust me, if you're a bad guy, you do not want the parry into the stick. That's a very nasty stick you're playing with there. Yay, a violence! Alright, and then... You're done. Get out of here. No more of that. And now I just need to pair up Manfred with Sekura. Sekura. And then sing a song of conquest and love. Dooby 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 die. <gasps> Well, mistakes were made. Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing there, Buster? Bu Buster Brown, Buster Brown, what the fuck? At least so what I did there was irrelevant, because Hayata would have gotten God anyway. That's awesome. for a moment. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's not epic. I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a question for you. What do you do when a game cheats you by having an adventure open a door to let Hayato get one-rounded? Well, the only morally correct answer is to cheat back. That's what I say, anyway. So that's what I, exactly what I'm gonna do. The good old-fashioned Fire Emblem motto, if the game cheats, cheat back. Alright, so I actually killed this guy with a Steel Yumi, but I could also get crit, and I don't like getting crit. So I won't get do that, actually. Alright, I missed Dweeb. And now that man's been reduced to shreds. So now what- oh no, no, baby Hayato, don't do that. So now with Hayato's strength pair up, Manfred, Zedvik's uh, new favorite unit, I guess, can kill this guy with the javelin. Thank you, sir. And now, Camilla can just fly through here, activate this dragon vein. This dragon vein device. Duo with his mind movement with the ninja, I mean the adventure pair up bonuses, can go up here. Switch, and because we are an adventure, we can use the rescue staff on the bestie. Let's see, where's the bestie? Here's the bestie. There you go. Cool. And then we can use the flyer Elise, thank you, Fuzzwuzz, to fly up Azura. Switch, sing with me a song of conquest and love. You know, we all love that song. Use the bolt axe to safely take this guy out from a distance. That's a 1E and a 2E. For those of you who can't count in the audience. If you can't count, I have one question. What are you doing on a Fire Emblem channel? And then we can use the Get Real Bow, ooh, 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 named by me, to exactly one round this guy after a strength tonic use. And this is turn five. Would have been four turns, but I accidentally messed up a pair up on turn four. So why don't we use my beloved Get Real Bow, you, 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 and take out Funky Kong. Ah, one of my guests. Well, then let me extend my invitation to you. An invitation to die. Yeah, okay, pal. The only one dying here is you. Bye, Funky Kong. No, I wanted so much more. Well, you shouldn't have messed with the best. You should not have messed with the best if you wanted more than that. 
Lock touch, alright. And side zone Charlie, cool. Stop chasing me! Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up, kid. And that is that done. Leaving the next chapter in Vala World to my associates and friends. Alright, where is that stupid shit, kid? Do 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 do, where are you, you stupid little bitch man? Where is you? I gotta promote you. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello? Hello, hello? Alright, let's get you into a master ninja to learn whatever skill a master ninja learns. I don't know. I feel like we have enough mechanics. Alright, so what skills will you learn as a master ninja level 5? Level 6, actually. Whatever. Alright, let's see. Lethality! Cool. Not like it matters, though. Because, let's see. We're gonna sell some shit. What kind of shit do we have? This half used Volinary. I have a lot of main staves. Alright, because I want a heart seal. Because our Berserker niche is kind of being taken up right now. Did I even put that on? Felicia? Yeah, okay. Kind of being occupied right now. Let's see, Sun Festival, Sun Festival, 400. Yep, get rid of this. Get rid of this, and now I only need to sell one more thing. Stock. Tiger Spirit. We have two Tiger Spirits. Alright. That was in the convoy, so we didn't need that. But now, you beautiful little stupid child man, where is you at? Asugi, I never used Gaius in uh, Awakening, so I really have no attachment to this character for all I carry is a Fates character. But let's... why don't we make you a Berserker now that you have Lethality? Since Charlotte is currently preoccupied with that gonna get replicate on her. Alright, so if you ever wanted to see a buff ninja, here I go. He's the buffest boy that ever buffed. Do, 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 do. Strength increased by 7. Alright, still pretty fast. Gained ability to use axes. And then... The only axe he can use is the Dua. Well, Dua's, well, Dua's using the Dua, so I guess I'll just spry him a brass thing for now. Alright, uh, let's see, brass, Dua, please. Alright, and now we have no money again. <laughs> I'm I hope my teammates don't hate me for spending all of our cash. But with that said, we have probably obtained our one and only child for this run in the form of a Sugi. A lethality berserker. And with that, uh, yeah. Go check out their episodes if you want to see what happens next. And I will see you then. Bye-bye.